Unraveling the Mystery of Spy Games, a guide to understanding the phrase. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're embarking on an exciting linguistic journey to uncover the meaning and usage of the phrase, spy games. Whether you're an avid language learner, a fan of mystery and intrigue, or simply looking to expand your English vocabulary, this video is for you. So, let's dive into the world of espionage and language together. The term, spy games, typically refers to activities that involve espionage or secretive maneuvers. These are not actual games, but rather a metaphorical way of describing the complex and often deceptive operations that spies engage in. The phrase might conjure up images of secret agents, covert operations, and high-stakes missions often seen in movies and TV shows. Spy Games carries a weight of connotations. It implies a scenario where there's a high level of deception, strategy, and mind games. It's important to understand that when someone uses this phrase, they are often referring to situations that involve hidden motives, suspense, and manipulation, akin to what a spy might experience. In everyday language, spy games can be used metaphorically to describe any situation that is complicated, involves secrecy, or where people are not being straightforward with their intentions. For instance, the corporate world is full of spy games, implies that in business, there may be underhand tactics and secretive competition, much like in espionage. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in sentences. The negotiations between the companies were like spy games, with both sides trying to gather information on the other. I don't like getting involved in the spy games that happen in politics. And there you have it, folks. I hope this video has shed some light on the intriguing phrase, spy games, and that you can now understand and use it confidently in your conversations. Remember, language is not just a tool for communication, it's also a portal to diverse cultures and contexts. Thank you for watching, and keep practicing your English with a sense of curiosity and fun. End with a friendly smile.